it's Ashley and Serena and we're the road trip and roomies so we just wanted to thank you so much for loving our last video we were really excited to post it one of our faves yes for sure and today we're gonna to be talking about Florida so don't forget to like and subscribe so you could see all our future videos absolutely This was a fun trip for us. It was super fun. A little Especially, different. And looking back on it, it I, I forgot how much we did. Like, yeah. We did so much. And I, it's crazy to think about it in such a short time. So we're in New York, and that was actually a, quite a long road trip for yeah. us. Wasn't it like 22 hours? About, I mean? yeah. We did it straight through. Straight through. We yeah. actually feel like we planned that out pretty well. We left at like <laughs> 7 at night, and then drove overnight, and we got there like in the afternoon the next day. Yeah, and we we rented a big truck. Big like, truck yeah, <laughs> for us it was huge. We're oh used to God. driving our little cars. Car, yeah, but we had we actually took the boys with us. This is this is a, yeah. a couple's trip. I think originally it was supposed to be a girls' trip. Yes. Yeah. The third person that we wanted to come couldn't come. Yeah. So, so we're like, why not? Let's, let's make, make it a couple's trip. Yeah. Um, Me and Andy weren't even dating very long. Yeah. We were dating like four or five months. I think that's why we were hesitating with yes, making it yes. a couple's trip just to, and to start, just because you guys just started dating. Like we love yeah. the idea of like all of us going together on this big like Florida trip, but mm -hmm. we're like, all right, like we just started dating, like should we be in the car for 22 hours and like should we like be going on vacation? Like it was just, but it worked out and it I'm really glad we did. It worked out so well. Yeah. It made the drive actually super nice because I think we each took about like five-ish hours, um, to, like shifts. Yeah. And that and that really worked. It definitely helped. Honestly, they make fun of me, but I was able to sleep a lot of it. They I, did I, I started the driving, right? Yeah, I think we actually yeah. like planned out. We were like, okay, what's the best shift for everybody <laughs> to take? And I took the overnights because I was working nights yes. at the time. So I was like, okay, I can drive the overnight. That's super easy. And Ashley falls asleep super easily. Mm -hmm. So we were like, okay, you start, like, yeah. and then you're done. Yeah. So um, that was that was the best for me. I was like, I start the trip five hours, then I could sleep the rest. She barely sleep. made it the five hours, yeah. might I add. I had, I have a, I had sleeping issues, but that's another story. We don't need to I get into <laughs> I had to keep you awake, like I was yeah. like talking. I, was, and I don't like, drink coffee, so yeah. I was like, we had those like espresso cans, remember? Mm -hmm. And I was like trying to drink it, and like I would take a sip and I would gag, and I would take a sip and I would gag. <laughs> but I was like, I need this, but like I couldn't drink it because it was so gross. I'm honestly surprised that the boys are still with us after that road trip because we were like, I was like, Ashley, <laughs> it's, I was like, Ashley, it's fine. We'll keep you awake. We'll just, it'll just be a five hour concert of us. <laughs> oh, I was like, not sure where you were going with this. I was like, what did we do? <laughs> five hours of just Hannah Montana, yeah. High School yeah. Musical. Maybe they were sleeping. Maybe they hope they were sleeping. I mean, at least I don't want to hear, them to hear my voice, but I hear a little better. Whatever. So our drive down was actually pretty easy, I feel like. A lot of people will say, oh, that's, that's a long drive. But yeah. with having a lot of people, it actually helped us out a bunch. It did not make it feel that long. Um, and like we stopped about every five hours just for like gas. Oh, we were we also for, road tripping. I was to just going to say, we forgot. You said we had a lot of people. We forgot to mention we had a lot of animals. <laughs> and we had two dogs. Yeah, good thing they were both small dogs. They're both like laughing. They dogs. were loving it. Yeah, it was funny. One of the dogs was hiding like under the seat somehow. Yeah. So we didn't even see him. <laughs> okay, so we drove down to Florida. It was South Florida. We actually went to West Palm Beach. Shout out to my parents. They live out there and they let Thanks us. Thanks for letting us stay with you. We appreciate it. <laughs> so my parents opened their house to my crazy friends, which was freaking yeah. insane, but we made it we made work. <laughs> Um, so I've been to West Palm a few times just because of them being out there, but for anybody who hasn't been there, I always describe it as like the LA of Florida. Like yeah. it's very it's like, a little, a little. Place. it's very like palm trees, like everywhere, like kind of what I envisioned LA kind of being a little bit. <laughs> nice. But yeah. A big area that I've been to a lot. It's called City Place. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's not like... It's kind of like an outdoor mall, shopping area, yeah, restaurants. 
Very, very fun. Definitely a popular place out there. Yeah, for sure. There's a bunch of restaurants and cool places to shop and mm -hmm. to see like fountains and yeah. light up palm trees. Oh, good and... picture up like there. Like there's like a gorgeous light up tree that like changes colors and like a big fountain. And I guess they do like live music and stuff down there. And like I said, really cool restaurants and shops. They have like ice cream shops and it was one restaurant that we went to, which I love. It's called the City Cellar. Um, it's Italian, right? Yeah, yeah. So like whole like wall of like wines and stuff, and I definitely would say it's a more fancy place, but it's not like one of those places that is ridiculously expensive. Mm -hmm. Like it's not like you're gonna be spending forty dollars a plate. It's definitely like good quality food, like a nice nicer place to go for dinner for sure. Mm -hmm. Did that like that before we left like, yeah. last night? It was a good yeah. celebratory place. It was. It was, nice it was really nice. I think the first I night we went to that. Um, Mexican place out there. Oh yes, this is in the same area. Yeah, the Mexican place that was fun. It was. Wow. <laughs> Other place that we went that your parents really liked was called Benny's on the Beach. Oh yeah, it's so, so good. it was so good. Like I still remember when I got there, and that usually doesn't that ever happen. happen. Um, I got these really amazing chicken and waffles. And I'm like still craving it to this day. <laughs> it's a cool but, place. Like it's yeah. kind of looks like so the restaurant's on a pier. It, it, yeah, it's, it's on, on its pier. own pier. You're outside, right? Like basically on top of the ocean. Mm -hmm. Like you look over and down and the beach is like right there. Yep. It's, it's really cool. It's really cool. Good food. Especially to wake up and have breakfast like that. Ugh. It's right on the beach. It's, really, it's nice. really nice. We actually went down to the beach after yeah. and we stood under the pier and like we got some really cool nice. pictures. It's like yeah. a photo shoot area. Yeah, it was, it was really nice. I liked that a lot. So definitely hit up Benny Booby. Yeah, for sure. It was delicious and amazing atmosphere. Absolutely. Yep. Right outside. Um, aside from West Palm Beach, because we did spend a lot of time there, we also went to Fort Lauderdale for a day. Yeah. Um, we went to Hollywood Beach out there, which was really nice. I mean, it's definitely a more popular area. Yeah, it's definitely a more touristy area for sure. But it was fun. We had a lot of fun. We just hung out on the beach. We like playing in the sand. Yeah. We built this Rift. giant uh, turtle. Oh, yeah. You and Nick. Are it was so you and Nick or yeah. more Nick? Well, it was definitely more Nick, but we all did. Okay, it was really yeah, fun. That we was really cool. Like, I was really impressed. I'm still really impressed how well it turned out. Hey, it looked. And I don't think you had any tools to make it. I'm no, sure. it was that was, was all by hand. Yeah, that was was hand crafted. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then and maybe when you were doing that is when me and Andy were digging the hole. Oh the my hole. god! Oh, the gosh. Hole. Okay, so I don't know if this is supposed to be more common sense or this is more like public knowledge, but we had no idea. So, okay, I, I guess I should back up a little bit. So me and Andy were digging a hole. We wanted to like, I don't know what we wanted. We wanted to stay in the hole. It was Andy, or we just wanted to see, He was yeah, digging and digging. We just wanted to see how far we could dig, I guess. I don't know. But, so Andy's over six feet and I'm- Six feet? I said over. That boy <laughs> is almost seven feet, okay? He, okay, so I guess I could, I could specify. He's six seven, I'm five seven, so we're a foot apart. We're digging this huge hole. It goes over his head. And I'm like, this is so great, this is awesome, we're digging, whatever. I don't know if we even have a bucket. I don't know. No, what, this was all we, just like Yeah, I don't know how we were doing this. But then all of a sudden the hole starts caving in on us. And like literally I thought I was gonna be buried alive because we couldn't just jump out. Like I was like feet, like this, the ground was like feet above my head and I was like, we like were screaming for them to come and help us. Because, I just thought she was messing around. Yeah, I know. And I was like, they probably think this is a joke that we're just kidding or, or it's not as serious as like I'm seeing it as. Because that was like. <laughs> no, it, it was. was it we was couldn't get you out. Yeah, no, it started like literally filling up. Yeah, we couldn't get her yeah. out. She was getting buried alive. Mm -hmm. So I think Andy was able to get out a little easier because he could like just reach it up. and like yeah. Yeah, and he then, just left you there in the and hole. They, <laughs> and the, I don't say I don't even remember how I got. I, think I was, we Andy finally and came maybe over. you helped me get out because yeah. by that time, oh my god. I yeah, was, so I, I went was, to her rescue. Don't worry, we got her out. She's still here. Yes, like digging a big hole. Way maybe over you're not seven feet tall. No, no, yeah, no. that was not our brightest moment, but it was okay. It was okay. It was a memory. So we we made it out alive. Tell the tale. 
I feel like we say that a lot, but that's okay. Absolutely. Thanks for fun memories, I guess. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of good beaches out in Florida. I think my favorite beach um, in the West Palm area, especially, is uh, Jupiter Beach. So it's about like 20 minutes from West Palm. Uh, gorgeous beach. Plus, they have an awesome, like, dog beach, which yeah. is huge. So, normally, when to take your dog on the beach, like, there's only, like, a little section. But this is, like, a whole half of the beach is dedicated to just, like, people with dogs. That was and so cool. And everybody is so friendly. So, like, we just let your dogs off leash. And, like, dogs will go up to other dogs or, like, other people. And, like, nobody cares because yeah. we're all, like, like dogs. So, it was so cute. Do you remember that video? I was just going to yes. say that. We should show that video. <laughs> So I, I, I was recording because you and Nick were in the water yeah. and they were just like throwing a football or some ball yeah, back yeah. and forth like they were p playing toss in the water and then this big dog saw them on, the, he was in the sand and he was just chasing them back and forth because he just saw the ball, ball like going back and forth so he was, <laughs> it was cute. It was very cute. Yes. If, it. So if you like animals, definitely a place to go and a very calm, not um, busy Beach. Yeah. You can definitely find your own space Not there sure. and like just do whatever and everybody's like really friendly and gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous views always. Oh, yeah. I mean, always. I feel like our Florida trip was just always a way for a photo op. Yeah, we <laughs> have so many awesome so, pictures. I like know. we have them hanging in our house because they're just like the oh. most beautiful pictures. Absolutely. I mean, it's like a fake We were like up. just like little kids I feel like on vacation. It was so fun just playing in the water. Yeah. Uh, we had the boys. Uh, bury us and make us little mermaid tails. I think we were like competing. We're like, let's see who can do it better. Yeah. Little yeah. Little I think that one time you buried Andy and put boobs on him. Yeah. Like, it was just, you know. We do that with snow too. It's fun. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta be a kid. It's yeah. fun. You just have to have fun. Speaking of that, having fun and being a kid, we went paintballing too. Oh, my favorite. I went, I've gone paintballing out in Florida a bunch, but and to this place because it is awesome. It's called uh, Hot Shot Paintball. It's about 25 minutes from where we're staying at on West Palm Beach. Uh, awesome, cool place. I don't know if you guys have been, but if you have, sometimes like you do like tournaments or like whatever. I personally like this place because they're very chill. So like if we just went all four of us, like we didn't have to like have a raft or like anything like mm -hmm. that. Like we just played and yeah, it was were really nice. fun. So there's this uh, group on that they have actively going there. And it's like two hours for like two people and like 200 paintballs and like you can buy more. And it's like super cheap. It was only $25 and I was like, this is awesome. So we both just bought the group on and for the yeah. two of us. And we went and we had like two hours we were just playing. Um, the guy told me that they actually used that course for like police training because it's like I don't cool. remember that. Because <laughs> like, it's not like just like your average. Like there's like probably there like was, five like, or six buses and yeah. cars, like just there's, chilling. But like there's like five or six different courses. Like they have some courses that were like giant tires and like mm -hmm. the bus and like yeah. cars and like I, I don't know, everything that you could think of. It's, I mean, it was really cool because we did like boys against girls, like couple against couples. Yeah. I think at the one point though, when we did boys against girls, it got, it got a little rough yeah. there. Um, you could say that. <laughs> it was one of our last like areas too. So well, actually, I think it might have been the very last, last one. I think that, I think that it was like, it. That, we're done. <laughs> we were like hiding out in this little like type of thing right and like we were like looking for the boys and just like all of a sudden this chick just like dropped dead and yeah. I'm like what the hell happened I swear to god I felt I like got I got hit right here I right felt right here. I don't like I, don't I was in like actual combat I was yeah, like it hurt this chick so just dropped bad. I thought she <laughs> actually got shot I was about to be like apply pressure apply pressure but I'm like, wait, shit, that's a yeah. bad thing. And don't the crazy that. thing is, it was my boyfriend that shot me. I don't know how close he was. He said it wasn't close, and like, Andy's all about just, the rules like that. Yeah, he is. I don't he, know. He just hit me perfectly that it hurt so bad. And I'm kind of, that sounds weird. I'm kind of glad, like, you could tell, like, how so bad he, it was, because I didn't want to look like I was just being, like, dramatic. Yeah, it hurt so bad. Yeah, I could see I it. I got the face. biggest bruise I've ever seen in my life. It took up my whole arm. It was definitely not your typical paintball injury. Mm -hmm. um, if you've never been paintballing, it doesn't usually happen oh, yeah. like that. That was my first time playing, too, so I was like, well. No, I, you get little bruises here and there, but nothing crazy. It is a yeah. lot of fun. Not and it was, one to take up your whole arm. It's just something different, and, like, we're not, like, athletic 
like that, or like no. do stuff like that. So it was just like super. <laughs> it, was super it was fun, and like we were able to do it and just have a good time. Yeah. Exactly. So I mean, why not? So since we're in Florida, we definitely wanted to see Miami, see what it was all about. Oh, yeah. Find something to do in Miami. Everybody goes to Miami. I've actually never been to Miami, so I was just like... Yeah, I've never been. I was like, like this would be a go. perfect time. It, we were on spring break, too. I don't know if I mentioned that. And I was, was celebrating my 21st birthday. Yes. So I was like, let's go to Miami. Yeah, like, let's, let's do, do this. It. And your parents are down, of course. Absolutely. So that was even better. We found um, the alligator boat tours. Yeah. That was something that's been on my bucket list for a long time. Yeah. So I was really excited that we could do that. That was super fun. Um, it, this place was definitely different. They had, while you're waiting for your boats, they did different things. They had like a mini zoo of yeah. alligators and what else? They had other animals, didn't they? They had oh, snakes. snakes. Yeah. Oh, hell no! So I guess. <laughs> I don't do snakes. I held it. She I don't do it. snakes. <laughs> But Get it was fun until <laughs> we broke down. Mm -hmm. We I totally thought they were just messing with us because that's like kind of the vibe. Like I was feeling the whole time. Like they would like joke and like just like like kind of put on the act mm -hmm. like as they're driving the boat. But no, we actually broke down. Like they had a radio to them. Thankfully, <laughs> yep, they were able to, and they found us. And we had to literally in the middle of the Everglades. Go from one boat and jump onto the other. Yep. And yeah. Because so we were on the boat that happened. Yes. That's just Because that happens. was what would happen to us. Yeah, we got you. It was for a We were driving for a yeah, while. Yeah, it was hot. You're like mm -hmm. not moving. I was like, I'll get a tan. It's fine. <laughs> yep, we got stuck right in the middle of the Everglades. Yeah, those also are some of my favorite pictures of all of us mm -hmm. on the boat. It was the so fun, boat. though. Because at one point, they were like, when you were actually getting through it, like they were big, like going fast on the boat and they could have yeah, like, wind. Yeah, that's true. It wasn't somewhere. hot the whole time. There was a lot of wind. But we so did nice. see a bunch of alligators. I don't remember. Did we go like the season that you don't see as many? I think we they did were, see a block. We did see a lot. Sure. Yeah. I mean, so they stopped the boat like kind of like in a shallower part, and they were like, "All right, if you want to get out, go for it. Like at your own risk. Like go stand in the and everglades." Then we're like, and no one is like going, and we're like. Ashley and I looked at each other. We're like, "Once in a lifetime." That was, that was a good time. So we stood in we the all, middle of the alley. Yeah, you could say that we stood in the water of the everglades. <laughs> it was a good time. I like cool. Um, but from there, another thing that we really wanted to do, um, just in the whole trip in general, was head out to go kayaking and like paddle boarding. Um, I that was my paddle first time paddle boarding. I, I've done it a few times, but I really liked it, and it was super cool to do that in Miami. So it was we so cool. we went to a South Beach kayak, which I thought was gonna be like a big like corporation, but it was actually like a really tiny little it was shack. A little shack. Yeah. And I loved it because the guy was super cool. We were just able to go in, and he was like, "Yeah, it was like an hour, maybe hour and a half, something, something like that. that." And we were able to get the two kayaks, the two paddle boards, and we actually were doing it in the bay, which was really fun. So there were were these like um canals like in the back of these million dollar houses so we we're paddleboarding kayaking in the back of these huge houses and it was just really cool to see all the houses but the one big thing that andy really wanted was coconut Ooh. remember they were looking for a coconut yes there was some floating in the water that they actually scooped up and brought home so they could crack open you know they just cracked open the toolbox and you know just start Sawing away, Saw, yeah, literally. literally, and uh, we got some coconut juice. Yeah. I mean, hey, it was it was a good time. Yeah, um, was. Definitely out when we were in Miami, we had to like check out South Beach. I wanted to celebrate my 21st birthday like with my parents um, and like my friends, so that was really cool. But one thing to know if you're gonna head out to Miami is like the Strip. So weird. It is. So <laughs> don't don't make reservations when you go out. Yeah. Like that's not the way to go. So obviously you're on a super popular strip. It's gonna be more expensive. It's like restaurant after restaurant. restaurant, after restaurant. The, restaurant. the way to do it is literally you have to walk through and like there's literally like the hostess and everything. They're like, like sales people trying to exactly. make a deal with you. Exactly. So they're like negotiating. They, like, yeah, and yeah. negotiating with them. Yeah. I mean, I think we picked so like the one man. that we picked, they're like, oh, we can sit you outside and you get a free round of shots. Yeah. <laughs> that okay. Good. That was really fun. We had a good time that night. Yeah. Um, they that had like the fun. giant like margarita. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have pictures and, and videos of that. Oh that my was god. Fun. It was that was 
perfect that was way like, to celebrate for me. I, I was, was all say, like, about the it. Spring break to a T. Oh yeah, we did. Oh, we, we did forgot, a spring break. We forgot to mention that picture that we made on the beach. Oh, I mean, after it was, actually it was right before, right before that, we went to the restaurant. restaurant. We went on South Beach, and uh, yeah, we wanted to, we wanted to have some fun. So I had a, I had a photo idea that yeah. I saw, and it was to perfect, make it was, it was to make love out of like our bodies. Um, and I think the funniest thing for us was trying to figure out who was gonna be the V. Yeah, we're like, you try it, you try it. Okay, you try it. We're like, uh, nope, you're See, gonna- Ashley and I were in bathing suits, probably not the best God, to just yeah. like throw it in place in the yeah. air. So we didn't we, end up doing it. We made Nick, Nick do it. Nick did it. Hey, yeah. I think it came out pretty well. I think I got the easiest one. I was the L, so I was just staring yeah, at I was the E. I had to really like crack my oh back my gosh, and like, yeah. Oh, I don't know what I was doing. I, <laughs> hey, we made it work. That was but, a cute picture. Yeah, I love that picture. I love that That's picture. That's another one we have hanging in our house. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And I was just so surprised that we got the boys to do oh, it. Oh, I know. I mean, it was a little hard to set up. We definitely had people laughing at us like mm -hmm. while we were taking no, it. No, people were distracted. Oh, absolutely. But it's okay. You know, we entertained. It came out nice picture. <laughs> That's all that matters. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but yeah, definitely. I think South Beach is something like people should see. It's really cool. Yeah. It's definitely that. Um, spring break vibe, but for me, it was perfect for the day. We yeah. went for the day, got the experience, and then we went back to West Palm and like enjoyed the rest of our time there. And like that, that was really nice. Too. It was cool, for sure. So yeah, I think that was our Florida trip in a nutshell. We really had a great time. It was just all of us, us hanging out. Yeah. and. I mean, it's such a blessing for me to have like two really like close friends that I was able to just like share that environment with, yeah, and even so soon, like I mean, like I said, Andy was only in our life at that time for what, like five months. Mm -hmm. Nick was in our life for a year, maybe, and maybe a little longer than that. Yeah. And it was just so cool. It was like our dream to like true. finally yeah. do that. Have um, everyone together. That's yeah. a big trip. Yeah, and we love traveling with the boys now. It's like, it's really fun to do that with all of us because we can just be dorks and weirdos yeah, together. I hope they can do that like, soon again. Absolutely. <laughs> Maybe not as far, but... <laughs> yeah, just something all of us. So. Yeah. Like I said, a lot of people head down to Florida, but those are some of our favorite places. Favorite places and different things that you might not think of, like who <laughs> thinks of going paintballing in Florida. But for us, it was a really good experience. Exactly. But. I think that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Find us on Instagram, Facebook. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye.